Yeah. 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 I'm coming.
Yeah. Yeah. But that's what this is, you know. Satanic black magic. Sick shit. Hello, test, test, test. Uh, I think maybe Greg is there. Uh, Greg, if you're there, can you tell me how my voice is compared to the game music? Um, also, I can't hear our trigger fire uh, sounds. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, I can see the audio spiking on our trigger fire source. And I mean, it looks like the video stuff is playing but i can't hear it on my headphones and i'm not sure why but anyway um so this is like the third time or fourth time we're streaming from like directly from our uh our desktop all sounds good on your end greg thank you yeah this is like the fourth time i think we're streaming this week from our our, our our desktop because the capture card that we were using for the two pc setup died um so we are we're just using one computer right now and roadkill is just gonna monitor chat on on their laptop on the actual twitch page um so it, there's just a couple of things that we're having to troubleshoot i guess coffee's almost ready Coffee is incoming. So we will be starting momentarily.
Okay, roadkill is here. We have coffee. So it is time to crawl the demon infested dungeon. Last time you played, you defeated Medusa, right? But you haven't gone to the next level after her. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's correct. So they. What did they tell me? They told me they told me that like they were giving me control of the end, the flying tower. Yeah. So they I did think say I can that. move it around. Because you you defeated Medusa, so you woke all the people up that she had turned to stone. Uh yeah. Uh so we are here. We can go play slots. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Did that. Let's do that. That's the stream. Fuck. I gotta remember how to use a Nintendo controller layout real quick. Oh, oh well, I got something. Oh, okay, fuck. Yeah, let's go. Ah, close. What's the other thing we can play? Blackjack? Maybe. Or high and low? Big and small. Yeah, big and small. Big and small. Greg says this music sounds like Johnny B. Good. It does, yeah. It definitely has a, a Johnny B. Good vibe. Friday the 13th. Yeah, it's, by Friday, the way. it's Friday the 13th. Make sure you uh, blow a kiss into the lake for Jason. The... Wait, what? Shit. Big. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, they gave you a shit ton of money for defeating Big. Medusa. As yeah, well. yeah, I've got, I've got a good amount of money right now. Yeah, I mean, I think you bought everything here that you needed. And yes. Then you God damn it! Right, one more try here. I don't like this game very much. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Greg. You probably should walk around your neighborhood with a machete in your hand. Who, 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 oh, because it's Friday the 13th. I'm like, you can crack off his shits over there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do slots one more time. Okay, I'm gonna do one more because I want to get it. <laughs> Is that a cookie? I think it's a star. It's a cookie. Shadows. Healer. Do we need to be healed? No, we're healed. Yeah, Where's I think you shot? took care of everything and then gambled a bit and quit for the the night last time you played. 
Oh, it's the new moons are closed right now, of course. Well, God damn it. Just walk around a little bit and it won't be the new moon anymore. I just wanted to see if there was stuff I could sell. What the fuck is it? Agirama? I think stuff? it casts Agirama. Oh, yeah, I think we established that last time. Um. I guess I'll hang on to this shit for now. Okay, let's look at our map. Um. So. We're in BN. We need to go down to Valhalla, yeah. to the lower levels of Valhalla. Big dungeons over oh, here. Yeah. So maybe I will do that. So I guess I could go take it. Hey, do we have one of these? Uh, they're not having any of it. Everybody's got panic now. Oh, I forgot they do that. On. Is that the wind attack? I think so. This sucks. Lots of Jesus is okay now. I think. Yeah. Oh, well, it was. <laughs> turn right back around and go uh, heal. Because it's like the first floor is under me, and then there's a basement floor. It's really weird. Right, let's try the first floor. Like you said, they give you control of the end. Have you gone anywhere where it looks like you can? No, I don't really know what that means. So, like, from right here, I could spill coffee everywhere. Mm hmm. That's why I don't sit it there. I know, but I can't reach it over there. Okay, 
so that was where I needed to go. Can you get a towel? Coffee disaster. You need a sippy cup. Sippy cup of coffee? Yeah. But usually I have a sippy cup. I have that thermos. It's basically a sippy cup. Yeah, let me set this on top of the towel so I can dry it off and then put it over here. Like you just gotta drink a little bit and then when it's not completely full, you can move it in front of you. Don't it. teach me how to drink on stream. <laughs> Oh, here's Tirith just in time to <laughs> fucking make fun of me for pouring shit out. <laughs> Tirith said, it's fucking me, gig! Fucking <laughs> gig! Calypso! Freak patient lemonade! It's fucking minging! It's fucking minging! Alright, we're in Valhalla now. So. Wait, why don't I have this map? What the fuck is this shit? Hold on now, what? Oh, is this the progression? I don't know. I don't know anything. This could be dangerous. Also, tear <laughs> What? I need a new crochet project. <laughs> oh yeah, you're not. Well, I thought you were working on that hat. I was. What I just you... I actually have to count to do it sometimes. Uh, well, I mean, just start, just start freeform crocheting. Just crochet. I mean, fuck. I That's don't a know. thing. I know. Okay. Make Greg a guitar, uh, guitar cozy. Keep his guitars warm. I have no need for money. I'm only interested in beautiful gemstones. Got a new track there. What the fuck? Rags shops. I guess I don't have any gemstones to sell this cat. Okay. Fuck your life, he said. Something was hiding here. It's another cat girl. Because apparently all we fight is cat girls now. And they're incredibly deadly. Oh, look, a mummy. Oh, hell yes. It's all just there undead. They can beat the shit out of you, though. Mummies are such a good design. Yeah, yeah, I like a good mummy. The Egyptians really went off with that one. Okay. 
Uh, how's the week treated everyone? Roughly. Huh? Roughly. How's your week been? Fine. You did a lot of art this week? Yeah, I felt inspired. Compelled? Yeah. What's inspired you? I don't know. Columbo. Watching Columbo. <laughs> I was just about to look up, because I know you told me there's a Sopranos cast where they talk about episodes of The Sopranos. I was about to look up if there were Columbo ones. A Columbo podcast. Because, I mean, it was a, another show that got real big over quarantine. Columbo cast. Uh, our Cerberus just died. Well, shit. Dude, this dude fucked us up. How many were there? Like six. That's a lot of mummies. Ghost Pharaoh. Oh, Ghost Pharaoh. Alright, so I guess I'm going back. Yo, I don't really wanna I don't really wanna fight you, bruh. Okay. Can we talk? You have too many allies. I think your computer might be full. Uh, do you want to have Baku heal everybody? I guess, yeah. That would probably be a good thing to do, huh? Star Spawn! Hey! Star Spawn, how you doing? Where the fuck is... Gandalf? Gandalf. Gandalf! No, I don't want to fight any more cat girls! Do you have any cat girls on your team? Um, well, no, they already put you into a panic instead of saying take care of our friends, so I guess that answers that question. Yeah. Oh my god, no, stop. Hot right, snake lady. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with you there. I just don't want to fight right now. Motherfucker. Starcorn says this week is okay. Currently priming minis. May have spray painted their hand a little. What uh what kind of minis are you painting? No, let me go. This isn't a safe place either, is it? Or no, it is safe. I don't think any monsters spawn here now that the lights came back on. Yeah. What? There are a couple of Columbo podcasts. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, a random selection of minis that seem easy to paint and or he has no use for as a DM. Stone Golem, Reindeer, Cartoon Dragon holding a pizza. <sighs> cartoon Dragon holding a pizza? That's fucking sick. I would like to see that.
Okay, everybody is fucking healed now. Um, god damn it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to get back to... I don't know, I don't know where I'm trying to get to. I think I need to go to the lower part of Valhalla still. Right? What have we fought? We fought the Minotaur and Daedalus? Yeah, and you fought Medusa and BN. Okay, so yeah, we gotta fight, I think, Loki and Valhalla now. Oh, cool. Starspawn says his wife wants to try painting some minis. That's cool. So that's their wholesome activity for the weekend. Hell yeah. To balance out all the unwholesome shit that goes on. Sometimes you gotta do some unwholesome <laughs> shit, man. Which I assume is destroying minis. Yeah. Burn them with a magnifying glass. Oh my god. <laughs> that whole sludge appeared. just went to. Okay, this is where I wanted to go, I believe. So... If I go this way, what is this? That's back that way. What? What? what why did that happen? That was just a teleporter all the way back here? I forgot about that. I guess. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we ran out of, like, uh, prestige TV shit to watch, so we started watching Columbo mm -hmm. on, uh, on Tubi. <laughs> where it's free. I think we're like in the middle of the second season now. Like, no, we're at least on the second season. Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of an episode right now where he's in England solving a murder perpetrated by Shakespearean actors. Why is he in England? Because he's learning new techniques from Scotland Yard. Oh, okay. He's learning new detective techniques. Except he's not really learning anything. He came in and goes, oh, this accident? It was a murder. I was pointing out that there's a, a character in this episode who is like a, a British inspector, and he's played by, what did I say that guy's name was? I don't remember. I can't remember his name either, but he is a British actor who I recognized because he's in this really obscure um horror anthology film that I love called uh, House of the Dead from like 
79 or 80 or something like that. It's like a sort of like low budget version of uh, the classic Amicus horror anthologies like Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. But it's called House of the Dead, and it's um, like I, you and I watched it originally years and years ago, like in high school, I think. Uh, because it was just included on one of those, like, 50 horror movie collections yeah. that we had. Uh, but then I I actually got it on, on VHS a couple years ago, like a, like a big box VHS copy, which is, like, one of my favorite VHS that I own. And um, it also got a really nice Blu-ray release by... Vinegar Syndrome, I think? Something like that. But he essentially plays the same character. Yeah, yeah. He's, in that he's story like a stuffy, in episode. He's like a stuffy British inspector in both. It's really strange. It's like he it's like he just walked off the set of Columbo and filmed a scene some scenes for this horror anthology. Because it's honestly the reverse story in House of the Dead, too. Because he comes to America to that's, talk to yeah. an American detective who kind of looks like Columbo. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> I've decided to entrust this talisman to you. It was given to me by my friend Lore before he passed away. It must hold some kind of power. Lore's talisman. I'm saying, well, okay, a dude just gave us some random talisman. Okay, so we don't want to be in BN right now. We want to go to the lower floor of Valhalla. So it's not that way. Here. Lore wasn't that dude who uh, was guarding the other door, is he? No, no. Lore... I don't know who Lore is. Okay. Um, no, Lore is the, the guy whose shield we got, right? No, that's the dude. The dude you were just talking to. You went and got his shield. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know who Lord is. No, the other guy is still over there. Um, this, like, I, I just met him coming the opposite way out of BN. Okay, this is where I want to be. This is the lower level of Valhalla, yeah. which was a little too high level for us when we came here before. So I'm going to go ahead and summon my... Uh, um, what's his name here? Cerberus. I'm going to summon the Cerberus back. Also, I would stick to, like, this first little corridor for a while until you know exactly what kind of trouble you're getting into. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. So we won't, we won't tarry too far. Barry Puka. I guess we should have planned uh, to watch some Friday the 13th today, but I just wasn't even thinking about it. We gotta watch Columbo. Oh yeah, we gotta watch Columbo. That's, you know, gotta finish that Columbo episode. I have um, to know if he makes it out of Britain. <laughs> never get out of Britain alive. We just leveled up. Hell yeah, what level are you? That's a good question. Let's find out. Because, like, you're obviously out of space in your computer, so you should go fuse some people if you can, but I feel like you checked and you couldn't control any of the ones you could make, I so think, you didn't. I think that's accurate. We are level 27. Yeah, I feel like everything you could make was level 30 or higher. I feel like 36 yeah. was the level I kept seeing. I know at one point you were able to make a level 50, uh, the God Thor. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. A level 50, the god Thor. John Michael Thor. Mm-hmm. Of heavy metal band Thor. 
of the movie Zombie Nightmare. Of the movie Zombie Nightmare. He's in some other movie too. I can never remember the name of it. Yeah, the, the rock and roll one. Rock and roll nightmare. Yeah. I guess I was thinking those are the same movie because the titles are so similar, but they're different, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen Zombie Nightmare. You have. Its name is T3K. Adam West is in it. Okay. I just I'm more I'm more <laughs> familiar with with Rock and Roll Nightmare because he turns into an angel at the end of that one. Uh huh. Uh, hot demon. Uh, Zombie Nightmare is the movie that I always. Well, I mean, I guess this isn't a quote from the movie. Crow yells it in the MST3K episode. The I don't want to feel again. The worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's that really, uh... <laughs> really awful... Racist. Racist caricature character. Of, like, she's, a voodoo lady. Yeah, just, you know, saying a bunch yeah. of random shit, and it sounds like she says that. <laughs> oh, these guys put you to sleep, apparently. That's fucking cool. Are they incubus? Incubi? Uh, I think I think so. Yeah. Suck you by. Suck you by. Anybody watched or read or played anything cool recently? Roadkill's been playing Wobble Dogs, which has been really fucking entertaining the last couple weeks. I beat Dragon Quest. You beat Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, I mean, there's still tons of shit that I plan to do in it, but I didn't Look beat at the game. this guy. Oh, hell yeah. He's got, like, an incorporeal sword, so on the Oh, yeah, it card, looks like he has nothing. Or not, well, it's not a capture card, but on the the video capture in OBS, it looks invisible. Oh, hell yeah. We need to watch Dr. Mordred, like we were talking about. Oh, yeah. And it's not a ripoff. Wait, what? He, he says it's a, it's a Doctor Strange ripoff, but it did not start that way. Yeah, I, I believe that that movie actually start, if I'm not mistaken, started as a legit Marvel film, but for some reason did not come to fruition. So they just had it, and they're like, well, we're not going to not put it out. Yeah, so like they just had to like change some stuff and make him Doctor Mordred. A guy named Rag opened a weird shop on the first floor. Yeah, we've seen that. I would love to see Jeffrey Combs in an actual MCU film. I just love to see Jeffrey Combs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he you, you can pretty much do anything with him. He's very good at. And know. I know if I love to see Jeffrey Combs, that means I should watch Star Trek. <laughs> oh yeah, he's in a lot of uh, next. He's like a percentage right? of the cast. In yeah, Star he Trek. does a lot of alien work. Like, uh, he's kind of like uh, what's his name, um, Doug Jones. He's just got more speaking roles. Doug Jones sort of plays a lot of... Well, I don't know. He doesn't always play silent monsters. Abe Sapien talks. Uh, Are you trying to think of other Doug Jones roles? I'm just trying to think of other roles where he talks. Uh, he has maybe one line in Hocus Pocus. 
I've never seen Hocus Pocus. I know he plays like that undead guy or whatever. Look at this gargoyle. It's pretty cute. Oh, hell yeah. It looks like a fun guy. Star Spawn says Brian Thompson is in that too. I am drawing a blank on who Brian Thompson yeah, I don't is. Know either. I thought you would because you know every name. Uh, yeah, Greg is pointing out Jeffrey Combs has a big part in Deep Space Nine. Oh, okay. Like, he's a character in Terminator, but, like, it's one of those dudes he's talking to at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's kind of nobody. Fuck, he's in Dragonheart. Oh, shit. A classic. First one says want a hint. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah, sure. Because I'm sure, I'm sure I've seen him in something big and I'm drawing a blank. Or I just don't know the name or whatever. Texas Ranger. Alien Bounty Hunter on a popular 80s show? 90s show. Popular 90s show? Am I stupid? I don't know. I mean, look it up. I am looking. Oh, okay. Like, I'm trying to find any movie that's I know for sure I've seen because like what he's most well known seems to be Cobra which we haven't seen we've seen Cobra okay well I don't fucking remember it yeah we watched it uh, last year what the fuck Fem Arachne uh huh Like, what was he in in the 90s? Up on TV. I mean, you're talking about, um... X-Files? He's in X-Files? Here's X Files. It was listed under 2000. What, what's the character running name? From. And she's literally labeled Alien Bounty Hunter. Uh oh. <laughs> I I don't I don't I, I've she's seen. She's in Joe Dirt. Oh, cool. Oh, that's a classic. Uh, I've seen a lot of X Files, but I don't remember him in particular. I guess. Oh, 
because it's been a while since we've watched X Files. He's also in a couple of Van Damme movies. What Van Damme movies? One called The Order, and I think the other was Lionheart. We've seen The Order. I think I own Lionheart on VHS. Like, he looks like uh, Clancy Brown in Highlander to me, so it's really throwing me off trying to picture him. Yeah. That is Clancy Brown, right? That's not. I don't know. Who is it? What is that dude's name? I'm talking about the guy that plays uh, the Pergan? Yeah. I don't know, I thought it, uh, uh, Clancy Brown sounded right, but... Yeah, it sounds right to me, but... Maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't know anything. No, okay, I was right, it is. That's what I thought. Mr. Krabs. I still need to watch, the, or I need to show you the trailer, because I, I watched a little bit of it on, like, muted, um, when I passed it on Twitter at some point, but we need to watch the trailer for, uh, that new Cronenberg film. Oh, yeah. It's called yeah. Crimes of the Future, it looks so fucking cool. It's got Viggo Mortensen and, um, Kristen Stewart in it. Speaking of films. Man, it's been so long since I read Preacher. But, I mean, yeah, I can see that. He's a rough looking dude. Star spawns that says that Brian Thompson will be good as the saint of killers. Oh yeah, that's totally accurate. I never watched the show they made. I it didn't look good to me. It looked fine to me. I feel like who's the vampire? Uh Cassidy. Yeah, I feel like the dude they cast for him was really good. Like I it wasn't really like the appearance of the cast or anything. It's just like I don't know. Something about the, the teasers and stuff for it just put me off like the style didn't seem right i don't know it, like it may have been fine i feel like a lot of people who don't even give a shit about comics like that which probably explains why it didn't appeal to somebody who has read it yeah like i could definitely see like like this doesn't have the comic book appeal and like and maybe that would put me off where it wouldn't put other people off because like a lot of the people who bitch about the mcu movies like they're bitching about the reasons that i really like them in that they are like convoluted cash grabs uh -huh. <laughs> which is what a comic book series is you know or a comic book universe wait Cassidy never wore sunglasses in the show what the fuck <laughs> That's, uh, that's fucked up. It's a gross oversight. Yeah, Starspawn says that he watched the first episode and it was pretty off the rails. But the it, casting was good otherwise. It, it didn't just, I don't know, just the whole, uh, aesthetic and, and, and style didn't, didn't look right to me and I didn't really care about it. Preacher is another comic I read a chunk of. Yeah, yeah, Preacher's, um, I've read a bit of Preacher as well, I, I never finished it, I don't think I even read as much as you did. I know I didn't finish it either, I just, I remember I did enjoy it. Yeah. 
I have read <laughs> Pop <laughs> stupid ass edgy shit like that. I, I have read all of Ennis's uh, Punisher Max, which is a really good series. Um, Ennis wrote the boys, right? I'm fairly sure he did. Uh, I read years ago I read like way before the show came out I read a huge chunk of the boys uh, that was out at the time but I never kept reading it so that I mean that was like 10 years ago probably he did crossed yeah I've read, read a little bit of crossed too man there's a movie Crossed? No. Uh, um, <laughs> well, no, but it's called, I think it's called The Sadness. It's a Thai um, horror film that is heavily inspired by Crossed. Uh. And I've heard it's pretty brutal. Um, and it's like, you know, it's got like 28 Days Later vibes. It's like a rage virus kind of zombie thing. Yeah. So I, I, I put that on our list to track down for Halloween. Oh yeah, Star Spawn says he also enjoyed Punisher Max, but like, used to be into Ennis, but lost interest after the edgy boys shit. And then, uh, also said that he was just reading about the sadness today. <laughs> um... When you say edgy boys shit, is that like... Like the boys, the comic. I, I know, okay, okay, but just, like... I said it kind of weird, I wasn't sure if you understood that. But like, is there something particular in the boys that put you off, or... Um, just the whole thing? Because like, the part I read, I remember not hating. Uh, but it, like, again, it was like, 10 plus years ago. Um... And I don't even know, I don't remember enough, and I don't know that I would like it now if I read it. He says it would take a while to explain it. <laughs> okay, well, th that's, that's cool, but, like... I can't fight these guys. There's, like, six of these guys. God damn it. Have you tried talking to them? Like, do they inflict you with sleep if you try to talk to they them? They can't talk. Oh, good. We, we gotta get away from these guys. Okay, this is not... This is not good. First time you played, Dave said if you just kept hitting escape, eventually you would escape. Yeah, but like, I'll die if 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 I fail to escape a few more times. And got away, okay. Good. Yeah. Don't forget to heal while you're out of the fight. I'll we'll try to. Wait, that's all the healing I can do. So, I think we're gonna have to try to get back. Connect. Son of a bitch. Has anybody mentioned what the boss of this area is? I, I think it's Loki, but I'm not sure who said that. These guys inflict poison. Well, that's fun. Oh, there's a, there's some new Resident Evil trailers out. 
Because there's the show coming out on Netflix now. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I guess I thought that already happened. But well, the, the that movie, movie came out, remember? So, like, I think the movie is, you know, basically a reimagining of the first three games. And I think it canonically takes place in the 90s. And now this new series is coming out on Netflix, and I think it's the same universe, but it takes place in present day and in the near future, where I, I think, like, after the events of that film, Umbrella, like, does, you know, they, like, like rebuild themselves or, or rebrand themselves or something. And it looks like it's telling a story, like, set in present day where shit goes wrong, and then in the near future where shit's, like, apocalyptic. Ah. Um, it looks a lot better to me than the movie looked in trailers, but I haven't seen the movie, so I can't really speak to that, I guess. Um, I don't know. All I can hope for when it comes to, like, movie adaptations of non-movie things is that it won't hurt you like it, Hellboy hurt me. The most recent Hellboy. It made me so mad. What is Star Spawn Star Spawn said uh, he reluctantly watched the boys' TV show, and it was actually an improvement over the comic, in their opinion. Okay. Uh, and that, you know, like, he doesn't mind the, uh, gross, dark humor, but Ennis is basically still a 13-year-old in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. like I say, I, I read it um, when I was in my early early 20s, possibly when I was 19 even, I, I don't even know. So... My memory of it is hazy and skewed. I remember... The only thing I remember clearly from the boys is very on-the-nose political satire because they had that, like brain dead George Bush uh -huh. insert character um which at the time I you know I thought was funny but I I do remember the writing was like very like I say on the nose I guess yeah like I like David Harbour but I mean that movie sucks shit what the Hellboy oh. came out in 2019. Yeah, like when David Harbour got cast, I was like, hell yeah, because I like him a lot in Stranger Things. And um, no, no, that movie was uh, was fucking terrible, like terrible, like laughably bad. Oh, Nakajima's gonna die. Oh, these spiders look so charming. Why would they hurt? They do look very charming. talk at length about your feelings on the Batman? I did not. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, Cerberus knows Recarm. You can try to use it. Yeah, I guess I could. Oh, wow, it worked. Um. Yeah, I mean, definitely the Hellboy movie, the 2019 one, jammed too much shit into one movie, but it also stripped the characters of any sort of personality. Like, they, they had no resemblance to Mike yeah, Mignola's like, character. they made Hellboy behave like a fucking 
angry teen. Like it's it was like I say, it's laughable. Like I, I just didn't get it. What did, what did he say? That that's what he said. It was like uh, trying too hard to be be a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, but it started with Infinity War rather than oh. you know, working up. Yeah, I feel like a lot of like DC's doing that real bad, and like. Well, they did that real bad. I feel like they did that really bad with the the Justice League stuff they tried to do over the past couple of years. If you, I don't know, Times of Illusion. I can't remember when those came out. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, we, watched, we watched The Batman, which I enjoyed, I would say, as much as I hoped I would, um, based on the trailers so like I I would say that it is my second favorite Batman film second yes Damn. I, I I feel like it is almost on par with the Dark Knight and like that would be my favorite Batman film Like, I feel like enjoyment level, it's like Dark Knight, The Batman, Batman Begins. You like Begins better than Rises? I have a lot of problems with Rises. <laughs> Dark Knight Rises, Burton 1, the, the, bat, the, Bur the Tim Burton Batman film, then Batman Returns, then Forever, then Batman and Robin. If I had to, if I had to rank them, um, I just don't feel like there was as much, uh, as much stuff in the Batman that was as memorable as the Dark Knight. Like, there's a lot of iconic stuff I think in the Dark Knight. Like, I think it changed. I mean, I think it changed the way people saw superhero movies, or what the, or, you know, it started to change what people um, wanted to do with them. Uh -huh. And I think it helped do a little bit of redefining for the character. He has stars one says watched it expecting maybe a five or a six out of ten but found it to be an eight. I let the trailer get to me the same way I let the Man of Steel trailer get to me. So I went into it expecting an eight and I got an eight. Whereas I watched Man of Steel and I got like a three. <laughs> And I got clinical depression. <laughs> Dude, I hated that fucking movie so bad. Um, my okay, my big problem with the Batman, it, I have, I have two major issues with the Batman, and they are kind of nitpicky. I mean, if one of them is what I think it is, I don't feel like that's nitpicky. Okay, well, it's just like I I. I, I feel like I critic like anything that has a narrative. I'm going to criticize because I feel like I know enough about narrative structure um, to criticize it. You know what I'm saying? So like my 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 one beef with the Batman is the big one is that it feels like a sequel to a movie that doesn't exist. And I really wish that they had gotten Robert Pattinson and they had just filmed a take on Year One. Because Year One is a, a, a perfect story, in my opinion. And it would have done a hell of a lot to set up the Batman and make it even better. Um, that being said, it's not like there's a problem with it. It just feels... Like, I we're, we're approaching a point with, with comic book films where... Um, cultural knowledge is replacing storytelling. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like uh, like the way that uh, um, what the fuck am I trying to say? Like, I feel like when we read like classic shit in in school, like we would read like Oedipus or whatever, the teacher would explain that everybody knew all the shit already. Like, everybody going to sit down and yeah. watch this play knew everything that was going to happen before they watched it. That's an incredibly good analogy. Yeah, you're totally right. Um, my other major complaint, which is not as much of a complaint 
it, I guess it is, but my other major complaint is that I did not like Jim Gordon in this movie very much. I like Jeffrey Wright a whole lot. Um, I've seen him in a couple things. He does really nice voice work. He was really good in Boardwalk Empire. You know, he plays... Um, he plays that preacher in that in the third season, remember? Fuck, that yeah. was him. Yeah, yeah. So he's really good in that. Um, I don't think he is a very gifted actor for all types of characters. And I, I found his line delivery to be lacking for Gordon. But more so than that, and that probably wouldn't have been a big problem for me, but more so than that, the Gordon character was very underwritten in this film. Jim Gordon is a is an incredibly important character, in my opinion, an incredibly good character when you put him next to Bruce Wayne. But this whole movie, it just felt like he was... Yeah, all he did was get Batman. Like, he didn't do any police work. He didn't do anything. All he did was go, hey, Batman, you should look at this. Like, it just felt like he was <laughs> following Bruce around and saying, hey, what do you think this is? Hey, what do you think that is? Um, <laughs> it's like, it's your fucking job, buddy. And, like, I... It, it wasn't that bad. Like, I, I'm not... I, I'm, I'm making it sound worse than it really was. It wasn't that egregious. But I feel like... Penguin did more detective work than Gordon. I feel like you could do more with the character. And I know you can do more because the Nolan films do a hell of a lot more with Jim Gordon. And it's also kind of hard to beat Gary Oldman as Jim Gordon, in my opinion. I, I don't think anybody will ever play Jim Gordon as well as Gary Oldman did. Like, I... There are aspects of the Robin or Pattinson Batman that I really like and there are a lot of aspects of the Bale Batman I really like um but as far as like an actor playing a character Oldman as Jim Gordon is fucking phenomenal um so like I don't mean to be unfair to Jeffrey Wright because I think he's a cool actor um yeah like I did not realize that was him in Boardwalk Empire that character is very well played yeah but I do feel like he was a little underwritten and it they didn't do Jeffrey Wright any favors in playing Gordon um, when they wrote the film. Sarsbon says he liked him. He thought he I was mean, a great Gordon. And that's cool. Like he's not a bad Gordon. Um but I feel like he could have been a lot better. And that's what I start to do when I really like a film. I, I there are parts where it like I, I don't go like my brain is not like you know oh this is a, a bad part of this movie I just find parts that I wish were better um, and that's like one of the reasons that I rank Dark Knight Rises so low. Mm -hmm. I see um <laughs> I see a gif of the scene at the end of Dark Knight Rises where Talia dies. Every now and then, I'm like, wow, did she really do such a bad job of that scene? The the Nolan films are not without flaws. Like, in all three films, there are some glaring issues, but they are most glaring in the last film, and I don't like the way the last film ends. I don't like that they wanted to wrap it up that way. It it detracts from the 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 work they put into it in my opinion to to cap it off like that in a non what am I trying to say like it it, it abandons uh, the mythos that they worked really hard to define or help redefine rather Starspawn says that's a fair point, and that also he was just happy to not have Batman Origins again. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm saying, you know, Penguin, if nobody had told me that was Colin Farrell, I would never okay. have guessed. <laughs> okay, Colin Farrell was amazing in this film, but the fucking makeup work they did was mind blowing. Like, that's so next level. And it, what I really... I, I keep meaning to look it up to see who did the makeup for Penguin in that movie. Because 
the only other makeup of work I've seen that looks as good as that is um, Gary Oldman in in uh, Darkest Hour, which is that Churchill biopic, mm. which I kind of want to watch now because I was I was like. I, I don't know, for some reason I was thinking about it, I think because of the penguin makeup. I was like, man, did they do really good makeup on, on Oldman for that movie? And uh, I think it's on Netflix. I kind of want to watch it. Because I just I like, kind of like to watch Gary Oldman and stuff. I think he's really good. He belts in the roles so well. Anytime you want to watch Dracula. Oh, uh, <laughs> Coppola's Dracula. I know where the bastard lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that movie is like it's it, it's it's such a perfect example of like a really excellent bad kind of movie. <laughs> like it's got some really bad problems. Also, I love it because there's a Mignola comic book adaptation of it where he definitely draws Keanu getting his dick sucked. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, Nakajima died a minute ago, uh -huh. and now they're out of sync with their leveling. Oh no. I'm fucking so angry about that. The talisman isn't just for show. Ask the old hypnotist about it. Okay, I guess we should have gone and talked to the hypnotist. I'm glad Chucky, the murderous doll, told you to do that. Yeah. I, I do love the Nolan films because, like, we grew up with them, you know? Yeah. So, like, there's a lot of all of them that just live in my fucking head. Yeah. Like, I'll say shit and I'll be like, oh, the Joker said that. That's why I say that. And see, but see that's that's the thing. is like, I, 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 I've been thinking about that since we watched the Batman. Like, are, are the parts in Dark Knight very memorable, or are they just nostalgic? Yeah, like, that. you say that a lot, and, like, I don't want to argue with it because I don't have any more proof for my point than you did for yours. It, like, you say it's not iconic, but we're not as impressionable. A lot of ideas and shit are cemented for us. Yeah. But if we had seen the Batman when we were, you know, 15, 16, maybe it would have had the same impact. Yeah. But, like, again, I can't prove that, so there's no point in arguing it, you know? Uh, yeah. I, also, it's a movie. I'm not going to argue with you about a movie. Well, I know. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying anybody's wrong. Um, but, like, it's just... I just feel like it... I feel like it's on another level. Because, like, if, if The Dark Knight had not been made... Yeah. The Riddler in The Batman would not have been the same character. Because it's just the Joker. I think if Saw had not been made, the Riddler and the Batman would not exist. <laughs> I don't think that's a fair... I, I feel like he's got more in common with... Uh, the Killer in Seven than Saw. Uh-huh. I feel, I feel like the Batman is, is very much... Uh, somebody's take on Nolan Batman meets meets David Fincher Saw or I'm um, not Saw 7 David Fincher Saw I'd watch that <laughs> Tirith wants us to know that she's twisted like the Joker twisted she's like a dark the Joker. fucking psychopath dark fucking psychopath like the Joker I gotta stop trying to fucking talk to these motherfuckers <laughs> oh that's a full moon what is Star Spawn saying? Oh, Star Spawn said, love that Dracula, but why Keanu? <laughs> yeah. I, I love Keanu. I won't, I'm not going to say anything bad about Keanu, but like, yeah. He's not He's not very good in that. Dark clown energy. talking about Jeffrey Combs earlier and we're talking about comics now so if you want to watch a comic book movie with Jeffrey Combs <laughs> what Faust Faust Love of the Damned yeah that's a fucking that's a fucking film <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Gary Coleman plays Dracula <laughs> oh, yeah. Dracula movie. yeah yeah Gary Coleman plays Dracula I forgot about that <laughs> Love that movie. 
Francis Ford Dr Coppola's Dracula. Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula, starring <laughs> Gary Coleman. <laughs> It's no, uh, Dario Argento's Dracula. Fucking Christ, get the fuck out of here with that shit. They need to put Dario Argento in a home. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, he's got another fucking movie coming out, and I'm gonna watch it, it's gonna be <laughs> fucking terrible. Do you remember how bad Mother of Tears was? Mother of Tears. Mother of Tears was like screaming at the TV, bad. Like, like you just get so frustrated, you have to scream. I, it made me very frustrated. It's not a good film. The best actor in that movie was a monkey. It's a very fucking terrible film. No, Tear, if I won't provide the context that you have requested. Uh, it was actually Mandela Effect. What? Your friend actually saw a version of Dracula with uh, Gary Coleman. You know who else is in Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula? Tom Waits. He is, yeah, yeah he's Renfield. He plays Renfield. I thought you were about to say Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins is too. I fucking love Anthony Hopkins. Well, no, no. And one owner riders in it, yeah. Remember that picture I showed you the other day of fucking nine foot tall um, Sigourney Weaver clutching one owner riders <laughs> tiny face? <laughs> Please leave me alone. Mummies. Mummies alive. Do not interact. Mumbra. Yeah, Starks wanted to say he loves Keanu in real life, but he does not have facial uh, range for acting. No, his his ev pretty much everything he does is like pretty monotone. I just love listening to people say this about male actors because it's like, oh, uh huh, they can't act, but they're just there. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them. I'm, I don't feel like a lot of people. Like I was literally about to say, it's he's just like. Harrison Ford, he just doesn't have, he doesn't even have as much presence as Harrison Ford. I'm just talking about the fact that nobody says this about actresses. Are you, are nobody you, are, knows Scarlett Johansson can't act. Oh, uh, well, no, she can't. She can't. She fucking can't. Okay, no, if, if that's your point, no, I, I'll agree with that. Like, she, no, there are some pretty shitty fucking female actresses, too. Female actresses. Well, you know what I'm saying. Whatever the fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. To clarify, Star Spawn said he used to be able to do the stuff, but he can't anymore. He doesn't have the facial range anymore. Yeah. Um, that being said, like I, I've enjoyed. My point there is Keanu's eye candy. If you don't like looking at him, don't look at him. <laughs> like uh, I, I do like some of the stuff he's been in recently. Like I like the the John Wick films because they're fucking stupid. Like they're just really fun, and it's like okay, I get to watch Keanu Reeves. Do Please, please let me out of this fucking hallway. I'm, pro I'm probably been peeking the mic all night. I start talking about Batman and just start, my voice starts to raise. I'm sorry. Love that Batboy. I have a lot of feelings about that. I don't even get him started on Superman. I do have a lot of feelings about Superman, too. I, I love Superman. What about Eel O'Brien? How do I feel about Eel O'Brien? I don't know. It's a good question, really. I can't wait for the sequel to the Batman where he fights Calendar Man. What about Crazy Quilt? What about Simon the Pieman? I want him to fight the Flamingo. Mm hmm. Or, like, real talk, put Professor Pig in a movie. Mm, mm -hmm. Like, uh, some, some Morrison villains would be really nice. Like, I would, like, honestly fucking love for them to do, like, a, a Grant Morrison, Neil Adams inspired Batman film that's just got, like, it's got, like, Razal Ghoul, it's got shirtless 
bare-chested, hairy-chested Batman. Does Lou Ferrigno still do any acting, or is he retired? Uh, I think he does cameos and shit sometimes. Why? Solomon Grundy. Yeah, I can see that. That'd be kind of cool. I'd like to see another Bane in a film. Um... Again, that's the thing that lives in my head rent-free, just that stupid voice. Yeah, okay, like, Dark Knight Rises, like, when I say that I have problems with it, it's still one of my favorite films ever. Like, for real, when we still worked at uh, Domino's, like, all of us would just be, like, yelling at each other in pain. Yeah, voice. I mean, <laughs> like, I love Tom Hardy. I think he did a really, really good job. My favorite things were the pictures of him after the movie was done, where he had, he the, had tan the, lines. the tan lines from the thing. <laughs> Like, even that, though, like, going back, like, I feel like, I feel like they could have thought his, his mask and stuff out a little more, because it looks kind of dumb, but, like, when it came out, it was pretty fucking cool. I, I think that's one thing, is Dark Knight Rises, Dark Knight, I feel like, the hype, when you watch it, you remember it, and you're like, yeah, this lived up to the hype. Dark Knight Rises kind of falls short, in retrospect, in my opinion. Uh, I gotta go somewhere. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go somewhere and get healed is what I gotta do. How do I do that? I don't know. I feel like this was, again, maybe the night, one of the nights, uh... Mochum. Mochum. Mochum came in the chat and said, please do not make fun of Plastic Man or underestimate him. Thank you. I, I, Mochum, I would never make fun of Elo Brian, nor would I underestimate him. I simply do not have as well formulated an opinion on him as I do Bruce and Clark. That's because you're a fake DC fan. All you care about are the big ones. Yes, all I care about are the literal big, ma meaty man chunks of Bruce and Clark. Oh, fuck, I was about to say something. Who knows? Oh, no, I do remember now, because it was, uh, uh... Uh, just a night when I was talking to Tirith and you had already gone to sleep. Because she started linking me to all these, like, super expensive, hyper-realistic uh, figures and busts. And she sent me one of uh, Walking Phoenix's Joker. And it had, like, synthetic hair and shit. Like, you could oh see every God. pore. And it was supposed to be, like, a life-size from the waist up. But it was only two feet. That doesn't seem exactly no. right. Oh no. Oh man. But it was like hyper realistic, like unsettlingly realistic. <laughs> I have to go find it. Cause I feel like he's also got his hand out like he's holding a cigarette too, but there's not one. Like, they couldn't put it there or some yeah, shit? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> but that movie... Again. There's some bad things here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, nothing is tagged the Joker. The the Walking Phoenix Joker. That's a movie I, I don't care for. It's 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 just a useless film in my opinion. It has no it has no reason to be a film. Oh, there's no way for me to find this because I did. It's apparently not listed as. I mean, just fucking Google I Walking guess so. Phoenix bust. J Mac. What did J-Max say? Loves this bass line. I feel like every time we play... Yeah. I mean, it's comments, thick. Walking Phoenix is not spelled with a W. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, I mean, you know. There he 
is. Infinity Studio, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, I think we were literally on Sideshow looking at shit. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's only $3,805. That's, um, that's a lot of money, dog. just have Joaquin Phoenix hanging out in your fucking house. <laughs> but yeah, for real, like, he's got his hand out like he should have a cigarette in it, but I guess they couldn't uh, put one in there. Yeah, it's kind of vague. But like, he's got real fake hair. Oh, you know really? what I mean? Like, see? No, really. Like, that's not sculpted. Oh, that's synthetic hair. That's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know about that. Do you think it's flashlighted in the base? Do you think, yeah, yeah, it's probably got a port where you can tuck something in there to fuck. See, they've got a paintbrush in his hand in some of these. Yeah. Where am I? Fuck. I don't remember why Tirith originally linked me there. I don't know what she showed me originally, because I just started looking at overpriced uh, figures and busts and shit. Because I think Sideshow does that one of Maul with the chicken legs. Yeah. That's super pricey, and they have one of Grievous. Fuck, I showed you that American Psycho. I think it was Hot Toys. Uh... Cause, like it's just like a little Christian bail. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. So I'm trying to figure out how to get anywhere right now. This is uh, taking me a while because it's. Um, God damn it. I was already on the first fucking floor. It's like. What am I trying to say? This area is very large that I'm trying to explore. So it's taking me a while to, like, get anywhere. Starspawn, have you seen the uh, the uh, deleted scene they released from the Batman with Barry Keoghan's um, Joker? When are they going to let Tommy Wiseau play the Joker? They should. <laughs> Why not? What have they got to lose? I mean, honestly, like, the way DC makes movies, I don't feel like they think they have anything to lose, so... What did what, what Star Spawn say? Oh, yeah, Star Spawn said uh, that he has and he can't decide if it should have been left in or not. I don't think it makes sense. It's... Yeah, I, I, I'm of the same opinion. I can't decide if it should have been left in or not. I would say that if you leave it in, leave it in. But if you take it out, like they did, take out the scene with him talking off screen at the end, too. Because I don't feel like that really added anything. Like, there's no mystery about who that is. Like, it's, I don't know, kind of pointless in my opinion. But, you know, if they, I guess if they do have concrete plans 
to use him in the next film or something. It make maybe it does make more sense to at least introduce the concept of him being in Arkham already. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna say like it it hurts the movie at all. But I do think that you know I, I do like the portrayal that that, that dude did. Man, I'm feeling like I'm getting fucking nowhere in this tonight. I feel like that's how it is. You have one where it seems like you do nothing, and then you have one where you make a huge leap in progress, and then it's another one where it feels like there's nothing. Because, like, you didn't really think you were getting anywhere last time you played, and then all of a sudden you beat Medusa. Yeah. first one says that he liked it, but it might have been kind of distracting from the rest of the story. Yeah, I, I, feel, yeah, like... I feel like it's too huge of a character to just plop into a yeah. random scene in the middle of the movie. Like, at the end, like you said, I don't feel like it hurts it if they have plans yeah. to expand on that. They probably would have uh, hurt hurt the Riddler's character more than anything. Like, kind of detracted from his uh -huh. impact. So, honestly... The way they did it, releasing it as an afterthought, like a little addendum to the film, just online like they did, kind of smart actually. Yeah, Starspun says that actor sets off his creep alarm, so it's a pretty good casting choice. Have you ever seen him with Colin Farrell in Killing of a Sacred Deer? Because very very good horror film and he's he's fucking creepy as shit in that that movie is very upsetting it's so good <laughs> yes was the answer yeah. <laughs> like and pretty much everything about that movie um is is upsetting but he he's a phenomenal in it I seem to remember you saying that Carl, Colin Farrell wasn't upsetting in it. What did I say? <laughs> that he was hot? Yes. Yeah, no, Colin Farrell was pretty hot in that movie. He's a good looking dude. for me to like find my way back to where this place is wait yeah like after you got past that last part of Daedalus and you started walking around in the invisible places and you started having one way walls I just I gave up on trying to help yeah. keep up with it because it was hard enough with the rotating map <laughs> yes there's one says he wanted to choke him to death yeah, like, he's... It's such a good villain. Or... I don't even know if to call it a villain, but, like... Like, that movie blew me away. Like, I, I love, uh... Very subtle, unexplained supernatural shit in films. Like, like just awful black magic shit that's, like, completely off-screen. Like, uh, it blew me away. It was so good. I can't remember that director's name, but he's got another movie uh, that's really good too called Dog Tooth. If you've ever seen that, highly recommend it. Dog Tooth has some pretty upsetting stuff in it as well. I am totally lost all of a sudden. I apologize. Batman. Yeah. I think what it is is I have to go down and then back up maybe?
Or no, no, that's not what it is. You get knocked down, then you get up again? Yes. Yeah, Star Spawn says Dog Tooth is on their list. It's good. You'll you'll really like it. You know what I was thinking about the other day? I was thinking about uh, uh, Denis Villeneuve, whatever the fuck his name is, the guy that just directed Dune. His uh, his movie with Jake Gyllenhaal, Enemy. Remember that movie? Where Jake Gyllenhaal has that imposter. Oh, yeah. There's that weird spider thing. Yeah, it's like a very surreal psychological horror Sorry, film. all I can think of was Velvet Bu Buzzsaw for a little bit there. Ooh, Velvet Buzzsaw is not as good, but it's pretty decent. Motion McGree's Dogtooth is good. They liked it. Oh, yeah. I saw Dogtooth before Killing of a Sacred Deer. I, I did really like it. <clears throat> Why can I not get to where I'm trying to go? Oh, that... What's his name? Barry... Keown or... Keown. I, I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, he's in Green Knight, which we still need to see. Fuck, we haven't seen Green Knight yet. I know, we really need to watch that. So lost all of a sudden. Do I need to go all the way over there? Maybe. Oh, I need to go see the hypnotist anyway while we're here, so it's probably a good idea to stop and do that. Who is here? No. Where the fuck is the hypnotist? Oh, you have Lore's Talisman. It was made by the great wizard Lore. I can it can seal Loki's magic. Okay, so I guess it's basically Subasa's statue, but yeah, for Loki. I guess he told me about Loki. You want to go downstairs? I think maybe this is where I'm meant to be anyway. I think maybe I just spent a lot of time in the wrong area. I hope not, but I could have.
one, one other thing. One other thing about Batman that bugs me is, um, I, I can't stand voiceover monologues in films. It's, 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 it's something I really hate, unless it's done in a very specific way, I guess. Like, if it's, if, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it bugs me really bad. It's like, and I, like, I know it's a comic book film. Oh yeah, like, I, that's one reason why I feel like it's dumb for you to argue it, because like, so many Batman comics are just that. Okay, but that's a comic book. Uh-huh. And not a, not a film. And I, I feel like it, that's okay, it's, it's the medium. And even in this context, in the Batman, it's very much in the style of the diaries that are kept in year one. And that's I cool. I mean, it's also a noir thing. It is. Which is specifically a Batman thing, you know. Like yeah, it's... so it's, again, this is a personal nitpick. I would have preferred for it not to have been there at the beginning like it was, at least. Because, like, the whole beginning of the film... Uh, after, after, the, after the the Riddler scene at the beginning, there's a whole section where Bruce is giving a voiceover um, that introduces the character as he is in this film and and how Gotham uh, perceives him. Uh -huh. That I feel could a should have should have been in the the first film that i that i think should have been made but even if if you're not going to make that film i feel like there are other ways to convey that visually and and with with dialogue rather than with a voiceover um but that's probably like like the bottom tier of my complaints where like i'm not really going to say that's actually a flaw it's probably just something that bugs me and nobody else Would you have preferred if Robert Pattinson had jerked off in this, like he did in the White House? I wouldn't have been upset about it. Batman is canonically not, like, you know, adverse to sexuality. I mean... I hope they put Willem Dafoe in the next one. I don't know. I don't know who he would play. The Green Goblin. <laughs> put, put the Green Goblin in it. I mean, everybody's always wanted him to play the Joker, uh, which you know they've already got a Joker, but I don't know. He could. He could be somebody. He could be Jerv Stetch. That'd, that'd be interesting. I'm trying to think of... He would be a good Scarecrow. He, he would be I a very... I would much prefer to have an old Scarecrow than a young Scarecrow. I would too, but I'm still hung up on James Cromwell someday <laughs> playing Scarecrow. James Car Cromwell... Uh, Is he still alive? Oh yeah, he was. I was literally about to say he was in the news yesterday. Because he uh, is an animal rights activist, oh. and he super glued himself to a counter at a Starbucks. Ooh. <laughs> um, which he's he's protesting with PETA, which is oh. uh, I'm not gonna condone PETA, but. I just I did see him in the news, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, um, James Cromwell, who is famously the farmer from Babe, yeah, <laughs> really want to see because he's like seven foot fucking tall, first of all, and he's like rail thin. I would love to see him as an old um, Jonathan Crane. God, my mind went blank for a second. I know all I can think was Cillian Murphy. I'm like, that's the actor. Yeah, that's John Jonathan Crane. Love to see Killer Croc in a good DC movie. I love Killer Croc. Yeah. Killer Croc would be cool for sure. 
I would, I'd really like to see another Two Face. Two Face is one of my favorite oh, villains yeah. ever. Um, and I mean, I loved him in Dark Knight. In, in Dark Knight, but it, you know, they they killed him, which is okay, I guess. But I would prefer him prefer him to have stayed around. I think I think if Heath Ledger would have would have been around, um, still, I think the follow up to Dark Knight would have been a lot different and maybe a lot better. I kind of think that... You can just say that you wish Bane had Venom like in the Clooney Batman. I, I do wish. I do wish that. Okay, <laughs> I shout... <laughs> I shouted at the... Uh... Okay, first of all, I shouted at the screen at the end of, at the, end of the Batman because... Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, did you? Yeah, yeah you did. He used that green shit. Because uh -huh. first of all, in in the in the animated series, I've stopped playing altogether now. That <laughs> I'm just talking about Batman. In the animated series, one of my favorite things is always when Kevin Conroy animated Batman gets really fucking hurt right before he passes out. He takes a vial off of his utility belt, and it's just this like unnamed green liquid and he it's chugs free agent. it. Yeah, he chugs it like a monster and he okay. passes out. And Maybe then, it's monster. And then it heals him. Um, so at the end of the Batman, he pulls a thing off, but it's like an EpiPen full of shit. And it's uh -huh. like a green fluid, which is probably Venom. Uh -huh. Because there's uh, a story arc, a famous story arc where he gets addicted to Venom. And I'm fairly sure that's what that is. So I feel, I feel like that will be a plot point in the next film. I forgot one of my actual favorites is Clayface. I love Clayface. Uh, like the, the the introduction of Clayface in the animated series is yeah. so beautifully animated, I and the character is so fucking cool. It would be a CGI fucking shit show probably if they made it now. Yeah. Uh, and like, there's sort of a reference to it in The Dark Knight Rises because that one dude that Bane. I think it's supposed to be working for, but actually he's Bane is in control of the shit. Oh, Daggett, it's Daggett yeah, which is the company yeah. that made the shit that made Clayface. Correct, yeah. Uh, yeah. In, in the animated series, it is. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Starspawn's asking if you've played Arkham Asylum. Uh, yeah, I've played the first one and maybe a little bit of the second one. Um, but never beat them. I, at some point, want to stream all those games. Um, I also have the Telltale Batman games on, on PlayStation I would like to stream at some point, too. Uh, you should do it on Saturdays. Batter days. Oh, I'd do that. I could certainly do that. I remember, I think, the plot to the second Arkham Asylum because I remember drawing fan art of it. What did you draw? I mean, I drew Aquaman. But, uh, like, there were all those Joker mannequins with TV heads. Oh, yeah. But I just drew Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Star Spots says the first two are excellent. Don't play the third. Uh, yeah, I've heard the third one is a little not great. I was about to say, I wonder why they never made a Batman fighting game, but they did. 
Oh, injustice. Yeah. <laughs> Lobo's in that, at least. He is, yeah. I feel like Scarecrow's pretty cool in Arkham Asylum. He's got a cool design, yeah. I do agree with that. It's a very, um... I guess 2000s horror. Yeah. Yeah, but for I mean, sure. I, I do love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at these guys. Oh, hell yeah. Very goth. Do you think they write moody poetry? I think they do. I'm just trying to think of who I would want Will Defoe to play, but I really can't think of anybody. Unfortunately. You know who I'd love to see in a Batman film, though? Kirk Langstrom. Man, yeah. Man Bat. That would be pretty fucking sick. I wonder if they're even going to do some of the more sci-fi villains, though, in, in this Pattinson series. I mean, I don't feel like in any movie they do anybody that isn't a very, very well-established one. Or are you even saying, like... I'm saying, I, I'm saying, well... I feel like you could pull off Mr. Freeze and not have it go into into the realm of science fiction, but I'm talking like I'm talking like Man Bad, I'm talking like Clayface and Killer Croc, where it's like extreme uh -huh. stuff, you know. Like the Joker they had, like you know he's he's obviously like fucked up by some chemicals and shit, but uh, aren't we all? Yeah, but like beyond that. I, I just kind of wonder what they would even do. Because, like, Nolan never really touched any of that stuff. Like, yeah, the most like, sci-fi thing you get is Bane having the mask and stuff. But, and, like, it's just, like, morphine that's yeah, been pumped in, yeah. not anything. And, like... You know, Roz comes back in the first one, but it's it's just that he has different people saying that they're him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> there's no Lazarus pit or anything. <laughs> Starts one says, I'm holding out for Matt Sorrow. <clears throat> oh, there you go. <clears throat> Batmite and Mr. Mix's spit like could be in uh, a movie. Of all the things that uh, irk you about Dark Knight Rises, uh, how where does uh, you should go by your first name, Robin, rank on there? <laughs> It's on the list, but it's sort of like an afterthought of the other stuff that irks me, I guess. Like, I'm not even opposed to having Robin. Oh, no, film. I know you're not. Like, it's one of those things where, like, yeah, a lot of the shit is silly, but, I mean, you could make... I mean, it's inherently silly. It's about a man putting on a costume yeah. and punching people. It's silly. Yeah. <laughs> 
like, uh, like, you know, if you want to put Robin in a film, put Robin in a film, but, like... My favorite part of the George Clooney Batman is, like, they do... I Don't they do a flashback to Dick Grayson's parents dying? Yeah. But the dude is the same age. Like, he's 20. Like, you're not an orphan. You'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell is, like, going on 30 in Batman and Robin. Uh -huh. And, uh... Or... I mean, that's in that's in Batman Forever. I'm uh -huh. sorry. That's in Batman Forever. Like, he's going on fucking 30 in that movie. And, like, he's gotta... He's gotta get... What's Batman and Robin? No, he, it, it happens in... Batman Forever, and then Batman and Robin is the introduction of Batgirl. Okay. That's confusing and stupid. It is, but... Okay. I've, I haven't seen the Kilner one maybe more than once, and probably not the full way through, but I had a VHS of Batman and Robin that I watched all the fucking time. Yeah, like, in, in, in Batman and Robin, he is already Robin, mm -hmm. but he, 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 um... Like, they, he becomes Robin in... In Batman Forever, yeah. Uh, this guy's name is Rick, and he says Loki locked him up here. Can you help me by breaking these chains? Oh, Rick. Somebody mentioned him before. They're like, Rick got locked up in that dungeon. Yeah, well, I'm going to break him out. Thank you. Please take this bracelet. Look at it. He looks fucking weird. Look at this cat. Ooh. I will. It will surely help you. Rick's bracelet obtained. Okay. time ago I was listening to uh, the Super Best Friends play something and they started shit talking Kirk Langstrom <laughs> but I didn't write down what they said why? <laughs> I don't know I was just trying to think about Batman villains. Um, you you could you could have you could have uh, it all. Yeah. My Empire of Dirt. Like if we're talking about Willem Dafoe, and could, we are, and we are, <laughs> you could have him play Hugo Strange or Black Mask. Hugo Strange, I mean, that's an old dude. Black Mask is, you know, he could be an old dude. Um, I would very much like to see Black Mask in a film. Um, I feel like that would be a very smart move. Is Catman a Batman villain? Catman is not really a villain. Oh, okay. I can't remember if he was a villain or not. He, he, he may have been a villain back in the day. I don't think he's been a villain for a long time. Well, he, I know he isn't anymore. Yeah. He's like Suicide Squad stuff. Yeah, yeah so if he's Suicide... No, he, I'm sorry, he's not Suicide Squad, he's Secret he's Six. Secret Six. I knew he was part of Secret Six, that's why I assumed he yeah. was a villain. Or at least he's part of some of the Secret Six. I don't know. She may have been the one to add him, I don't really know. Just a grouping of animal men. Yeah. Furries, if you will. Furries, if you will. Oh no, I didn't see... Birds of Prey. Who? Catman. Like, I watched uh, Suicide Squad and immediately wished I hadn't. 
Yeah, Suicide Squad was fucking terrible. So, like, I just... Oh, Blast... Black Mask is in that. Oh, is he? Okay. Well, that's interesting. I do want to see that. I don't know that I'll like it very much, but I would at least watch it. Yeah, I feel like it'll be a better movie, but it still won't be one that I will like too much. Yeah, um... And I, I also want to see the James Gunn Suicide Squad. I've heard it's decent. Um, I, you know, it's... I, I at least want to have the satisfaction of seeing some DC characters in a movie. It's just... You know. Oh shit, I accidentally summoned a bunch of monsters. I didn't mean to do that. From, from Breaking Bad, it was a second. Jesse Plemons. I would like to see Jesse Plemons play, um... Something Elliot, right? Tom, Thomas Elliot, yeah. Star Spots says, Harley Quinn was decent and the second uh, Suicide Squad was pretty great. Also, watched the Peacemaker series and it was fun. It, it looks, it looks fun to me. Um, so I would, I would give all those a shot. I just... I'm just not gonna like them as much as I, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pine for what could have been uh -huh. if there was. Like you just have more of an emotional attachment to DC than Marvel, so I feel like you can just take what you get with Marvel. And like, I mean, you you still have you know taste. So of course, if it's a bad movie like the Hulk movie, you're gonna say this movie sucks shit. But yeah, I mean, there are certainly Marvel films that like I like, Iron Man three, like Iron Man fucking three that I dislike. But it, it's like I have. And again, not speaking to Disney or like the corporate shit or or anything, but just to the the integrity of the franchise. Um, I I really respect what the creators did with the MCU. I think it's a, a fucking feat um, to do what they've done. Um, Feet. Feet. Well, all my monsters are dying. This is a shitty fight. There's too many of these guys.
All right, I'm back. Enjoy uh, that brief moment without comic talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, any comics have just been on my mind lately because we, we watched that. I mean, I initiated the talk. You like comics, I like to listen to you talk about comics. I do like comics. I haven't read any comics. Well, I read... I read Year One again. I like Year One a lot. It's really good. I need to go heal, I think. Did you say Borden's son is a serial killer in the comics now? Yeah. Uh, uh, James Gordon Jr. Well, there, there's why. I didn't realize he was called James Gordon Jr., I guess. Yeah, yeah, his name's James. Uh, in one of the last, um, one of the last stories pre rebirth, I think it's called the Black Mirror. Um, it is revealed because, like, he's not present in in Batman continuity. He, he kind of gets replaced by Barbara. Uh, but there's a serial killer in the Black Mirror, and it is revealed to be James Gordon, who apparently has been in and out of like psychiatric institutions and stuff, and like was kind of sent away because Gordon identified like you know classic serial killer shit in him as a kid or whatever and like uh, I can't remember the exact story the Black Mirror is very good though it's an incredibly dark uh, piece of like crime fiction the Joker is in it a lot, and he is... I can't remember exactly what's going on with the Joker in that story, but he's got some weird shit going on. It's, there's a very surreal Joker subplot going on in that. Gosh, I should reread that. Much was said that they've read Black River recently. Speaking of comics. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that one. <laughs> I think I, I know I recommended it, but it's fucking, uh, it's not a nice comic. It's, like, Black River is, like, all of the, uh, horrific parts of the road multiplied. Damn. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just terror upon terror. Just humans doing very bad things to each other. I need to start reading again. I just wish there were comics that I got really into, but Hellboy is really the only one... Um, I why just don't like manga so much? Uh, well, I mean, you know, manga's good. I would never tell you. I mean, you to... yeah, I'm not saying that you know I think anyone is superior yeah. or inferior. I just feel like you know I should vary up what I read to have more influences and therefore you know more sources. Of right, right. It's just a lot of the time I read American comics and I'm like, this is boring to me. And I can understand that. I'm not gonna defend the way American comics can be sometimes. I just... I just like it. I just like the format. You know? Mm. Like I've said before, like, the... the way that, that big comic book universe franchises work is, is literally just a fucking money grab. Yeah. But I love the way they operate. Um, because, you know, by their nature... They, they just get more interesting and complex because, like, 
fans who grew up with it who didn't see it as a money grab you know love the characters and get attached to it and want to continue the mythos and stuff so like it, it's just interesting to me um there's just so much to be had in in marvel and dc comics Butcher says that they liked like or they liked that it doesn't really have a beginning or an end it was just sort of part of a story of some shit that sucks but uh they can't say they liked or disliked the comic so and Starflin's asking if we've read Gantz. I started trying to read Gantz a long time ago, and something about it irked me. I don't remember what, so I stopped. But I may give it another try, because it's just a big one, you know. Have you, like, tear it? Maybe watched or read? Probably watched. I feel like she said she watched some of Gantz. Oh, I was gonna say <clears throat> you could uh, you could try out Black Hammer because it's I think pretty clearly inspired by Hellboy and, and BPRD and stuff. But it's I do still need to read BPRD. Yeah, oh I mean, yeah, I mean you've still got a shit ton of Magnoliver stuff to read if you wanted to, and I mean I think there's a lot of stuff that's come out in the last decade that you'd probably really like. Oh yeah, I know there's always going to be tons of shit that I would like, it's just sifting through it. Yeah. Because, like, we spread a comic a while back that I like, Monstrous. If we were reading it, it's okay now. Oh yeah, um, I don't know, I think Monstrous must have, must have ended, I, I don't, I don't know. I need to, we, we, we need to go back and, and, and read all of that, and read Pretty Deadly, and at least catch up on Saga. I think Saga might be on hiatus. I don't know. Um, oh, speaking of, uh, that Brian K. Vaughn series we read a couple years ago, um, Paper Girls, uh -huh. it's getting a, 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 a series adaptation. Um, so that's kind of cool. Starfleet says Saga is back now. Oh, is it? Like, I feel like last time we read Saga, um, it, it, it was going on hiatus, but we didn't even read up to the end point that that was there. Um, I I really like Saga. It's just I, we we fell off of it for some reason. Like we go in waves of reading comics, and we don't read them for a while. I'm doing really poorly here. Um, I gotta I gotta figure out what I'm doing. You can heal, you probably should. I, I, I kind of can't, actually. Is Baku dead? Yeah. I just need to get back to... You need to find the passage back. Yeah. We also read, um, what was it, Glory? It was a reboot of the old... Like, oh, the yeah, Prophet. yeah, yeah. Because uh, they did that with Prophet? Was that the other one? Yeah, Prophet, Prophet and Glory were 1990s era Liefeld, Rob Liefeld image comics, and in, like, 2014, 15, they got some really nice reboots. Image Comics consistently puts out good stuff. What? Spawn says, I recommend die if you haven't tried it. God damn. Ain't that a fucking... X-Men. Prepare for... Welcome to die. Welcome to die. I've not, I've not heard of die. Okay, I'm really fucking up here. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm 
gonna be very upset. You have any monsters that aren't dead? Y yeah. I guess I should summon them, huh? Die as in dice. Oh, okay. Uh, will you write that down so yeah, we, sure. we don't forget it? Because I'll literally look that up when we get off stream. I love to be recommended stuff, and even if I don't immediately read it, I try to at least write it down and, and, and get it in some degree so I can have it for when I, I do have time for it. We also were reading Harrow County, which was pretty good, like the art, and it was just a word. Oh, God, that was years ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's done, too. That's Colin Bunn. He's done several horror comics since then. Joe Hill has been doing some horror comics. He got his own, his own imprint at DC, in fact, called Hill House Horror. Or something like that. Um, and I read some of that stuff when it was coming out. When it first started coming out, it was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mojo said that they remember liking Gantz when they were like 15. Uh, they feel like it doesn't hold up. And Tirith is like, yeah, it, it, there's a lot of it that's just uh, cringe. Yeah, that makes sense. Because, <clears throat> like, a lot, you know, everything is trophy. I'm not saying that one right. country's media is more or less trophy. But, like, there was just, when you read manga and watch anime, there is a lot of shit. And, like, sometimes I can tolerate it, but then other times it's like, I can't fucking stand this. Like, I had to stop reading Bleach, because Bleach was just fucking impossible. Yeah. This whole area I'm in doesn't seem to serve a purpose. He says Dice is about teens that play an original RPG and they get sucked into it for two years and return to the real world but suffer the effects into their adult lives. And then the fantasy world calls them back. I'm very, very into that. There was a, a comic that was very similar to that, and I feel like it was like 10 years ago that it came out, 10 or 12 years ago. What was it called? Was it Unwritten? Because it's about a kid who like gets sucked into a fantasy world and like literally goes missing and comes back in his adulthood. Uh as this like Conan-esque warrior in the in the present day um, and he's like yeah I'm that lost kid and I've been in a fantasy world as uh -huh. a fucking barbarian warlord <laughs> I think it's called Unwritten if I'm not mistaken okay I have I don't know what I'm doing but I gotta get back to a healer and then just pick this up next I'm, time. I'm pretty sure I have a list of the manga I've read recently. Oh, yeah? It's like, I, I was saying I love the stupid uh, edgy shit, and I remember one of the ones that I was reading, which I feel like it's probably finished now, but it wasn't when I was reading it. It's called Kuchi Kujima. This means Freak Island, and it was, it was just more... Yeah, yeah. Like, it was just stupid-ass gore. Which I can get into. I mean, I like gore. Uh, and it was, like, uh, very obviously influenced by, like, American horror movies, because there's yeah. a character who's very obviously Leatherface, there's a character who's very obviously Freddy. Which is fucking cool. And, like, I read a little bit of Pumpkin Night. I really want to read Pumpkin Night and Chainsaw Man. Uh, I read all the Chainsaw Man. I really like Chainsaw Man. Uh... I started reading Naruto because you started reading Naruto, and it's it's enjoyable. It's just fun. I started reading Witch Hat Atelier, which is it's so fucking good. Oh, no, like the art that. is unbelievable. And I started rereading Shaman King because I remembered reading Shaman King and liking it a lot because I used to get Shonen Jump when we were like twelve. Yeah. And like it's it's on thin ice. <laughs> Of, and, of being not enjoyable. Uh-huh. And I... I read 
all of a manga called uh, Jigoku Raku, which means he hell, heaven, hell, or hell's paradise, or something. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. You really enjoyed it. You told me a lot about it, and it sounded fucking dope. Uh, we both read Shigahime, which I really like. I like it. It's also one that I remember. What's that? Blood Princess. It's about the vampires. About the dude who's like a a familiar for the lady against his will. It's two immortal sisters. Oh yeah, that was kind of dumb. It was it was very shonen esque. Uh -huh. you know? It had a lot of shonen tropes in it. It also had some like yes, Star Spawn. I love Dungeon Mishi. Dungeon Mishi oh, yeah. is so fucking good. Roadkill fucking loves Dungeon Mishi. Uh, but yeah, I, I also just remember the ending of Shigahime. It was just kind of like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Shigahime is really cool. I really like it. Like, the art and the designs are really fucking cool. What I was going to say is, like, anybody who has not read it before and might think about it, like, I feel like it starts off with, like, some weird shit where, like, I feel like the main character is definitely an underage kid. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. They're all, because it's, it's anime and manga. Yeah. It's all high school students. Uh, yeah, the so only I'm, age bracket they're fucking yeah. getting anime. Uh, I read Blade of the Immortal, which is an older one, and it fucking rules. It's so fucking good. Uh, like, the art's good, the story is fucking dope, because I, 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 it's just a sort of the thing that I dig. Yeah. Uh, it does have some, like, uh, you know, if you're into Berserk or anything, it's got similar sort of content. Yeah. Uh, I read, we both read Love Me For What, or Who Or What I Am. I feel like it gets translated yeah, both ways. That's a really good slice of life um, manga about, uh, about a non-binary person. Mm -hmm. And I also read Asian, <clears throat> which I fucking loved. I'm so mad the anime looks like dog shit. Yeah. Okay, this is this. I never watched the dub. I've never watched an anime. Uh, I've never watched an game. anime. I've never watched an anime. Uh, I never watched the Shaman King dub. Or subs. Like, I've never watched the anime. I don't feel like it was airing anywhere I could watch it by the time it was... I don't know. I just don't remember watching it, and I would have, because I remember reading the manga for so long. Like, I'm only, like, I got it, like, over a hundred chapters in to Shaman King, and I only started to pass some of the shit I remember reading as a kid. Dracula was there. Well, even Dracula will be there. <laughs> uh, and I also read, I also read a manga called Lives, which was about... Uh, Tokyo getting hit by a meteor and turning people into dinosaurs. Okay. And I think it must have been cancelled because it ended very abruptly. I also want to read Jujutsu Kaisen. We watched the first season of the anime, but I want to read it. God damn it. Yeah, it looks... I mean, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen season one is fucking fantastic, and I, I would like to read the manga too. Too many enemies in this dungeon. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get gone.
I tried to read Tokyo Ghoul, but I, I don't remember why I didn't like it and I dropped it. Swan says they got into something is killing the children recently and they're 15 <clears throat> issues in. I've heard that that's really good. Is that Warren Ellis? I don't think it is, actually, now that I say that. Is Warren Ellis, did he get in trouble recently? Mm -hmm. I feel like he did. Big trouble. Hell yeah. We should read. We should try to read some some viewer comics soon. We should read something's killing the children. We should read die that Sparse Long was talking about. Let's try to make a point to do that. I also love web comics. Yeah. I really yeah. love web comics. Like I have so much fun just looking through websites trying to find web, web comics that are worth reading and that's like something I've done since I've had the internet like yeah. I remember doing that on Smack Jeeves but I used to read a lot of web comics but I haven't read web comics in a while other than Super Superpose yeah that, that Superpose I read. which is fucking stellar yeah Superpose what I, I know I haven't read all of it but it's it's fucking amazing all, we also read a lot of Nasty Red Dog uh -huh. um, which I thought was really good too Yeah, Superpose is like next level webcomic shit. Like, like Superpose could easily be an image book. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it got nominated for something. I don't know if uh, it was. Eisner? Yeah. Yeah, it probably did. Oh man, E.K. Weaver's working on a new comic. I cannot fucking wait to read it. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. I know you love them. Okay, uh, I am the village elder. Okay, saving this game, and <clears throat> I'm quitting for the night because I'm I'm I, I explored a lot of that area, but I'm like I'm getting kind of worn down by it, and um, I'll just have to pick it up next time and try to find Loki and, and beat that boss. So I think I think we'll probably be able to. Um, <clears throat> so. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight <clears throat> and talking about comic books with me. Uh, yeah, I used to love Ellis. Turned out to be scum. Was already pissed at him because he can never finish a series. <laughs> I have so many volume ones that never had a second. Wow. Oh. <clears throat> um, I was thinking about streaming tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to sleep late. And I have to um, I have a flat tire I have to fix. Um, so I'm going to have to do that. And possibly go get a tire patch kit and some shit like that. So, But, um, Colin just mentioned something to me about watching a movie tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. So I think I might do that. Okay. Maybe Friday the 15th. If okay. anybody. We never, I mean, I guess you'll want to watch the first one. If it's the well, I was about to say, like, if we watch Friday, if we watch a Friday the 13th tomorrow, and 
multiple people would be interested, what Friday the 13th would you want to watch? Would you want to watch the first one? Or would you want to watch a different entry in the series? I mean, I feel like one, two, or three would be good for somebody who's never seen any of them. Like, personally, I would want to watch Jason Goes to Hell, because Jason Goes to Hell is ape shit, and yeah. it's really fun to watch. I don't feel like that would be a good one for No, people. it wouldn't be yeah. a good starting point. For somebody who's never seen the series, I feel like either... I feel like one, two, or three, or... If you just want to watch a really dumb horror movie, Jason Takes Manhattan would be good. Because, I mean, everybody knows who Jason is. It's not like you need the introduction. But, yeah, let's just maybe do the first one. I mean, that makes the most yeah. sense. See, so, yeah, I think since today's Friday the 13th and we didn't do a movie today, let's do Friday the 13th tomorrow. Saturday the 14th. Saturday the 14th, which is also a horror film. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a comedy horror film, but... We'll figure out a time tomorrow and do that. So, all right. I will see folks tomorrow. Everybody have a good weekend. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.